Welcome to this highlights package of NPL Victoria Round 13, FC Bulleen Lions hosting the Bentley Greens at the Venado Club. A battle of bottom against top. The transfer window might be open, but the Bulleen Lions need more than just new faces if they are to kickstart a climb out of the drop zone. For the Bentley Greens, no interest in letting the chasing pack get an advantage. The chance for three points here tonight on the synthetic. Joining me in commentary is Jared Fabrio. Let's go to the action. It's live NPL Victoria action tonight from the Venado Club as high flying Bentley Greens see Bulleen Lions in a battle of top against bottom. My name is Teo Pelizzeri. Thank you for your company on FFV Radio in the Mixler app and mixler.com forward slash FFV Radio. Joining me in commentary for the first time is Jared Fabrio, former FFV intern. Congratulations, mate, on uh, getting onto the airwaves for starters. Third tell to get us underway. Adam Bafka has the whistle tonight. And one of two Monday night games starts with the other one, Kingston City against Green Gully. He's waiting for an option. They're going to play it long once again. Templin has to motor from deep. Ryan Scott comes out of his area. He's actually running right across the paint of the penalty area, curiously. Headed back into the danger area from Nardona. And now a shot from Groppo. Battered away. Ryan Scott able to parry it out for a corner. But the youngster, Matt Groppo, exciting the crowd with that shot from distance. The inconsistency. Boleyn wish they were that high. Here's a shot curving into the arms of Ryan Scott. No real venom behind it from Nardone. Good cider from Nardone. He has one superb goal to his name this year up at CB Smith's Reserve against Pasco Vale. That one picked out the top corner. He'd like to replicate that. Alexander told to go. Well, as I said, Jack Webster loves that long ball over the top. He's directing traffic. Now Yankovic pulls the trigger. Third tell. Hasn't had a touch in a while, so just reacquaints himself with the game by controlling the ball and playing it to Mitrovic. And now through the left they go. Alexander able to get the nutmeg on Cushieri and cutting it across the area for Hatsumaratis. A goal so simple in its construction. And Dimi Hatsumaratis was able to stroke it into the back of the net and get Bentley their reward for effort after controlling most of the early stages. In the 22nd minute, it's Bentley Greens 1, Bulleen Lions 0. And that is the space that Alexander is getting down the left side. He was able to nutmeg Kasheri, a bit unlucky Kasheri there, the right back, but fantastic solo run. But he's getting too much space and he's making use of it. There are some players to aim for as far as the Lions are concerned. In it comes, attacking the near post, and it's it. Groppo stooping to the header. He gets his goal. It's Pulleen Lions 1, Bentley 1. The corner from Templin. And leaning in to the equaliser is Groppo. He just cannot lose concentration. It was a great header from a rather small Groppo. Just cannot lose concentration in there, especially from set pieces. Celebrations for Matt Groppo. We saw him denied by a spectacular save earlier in the evening. Sander shows composure. And now with an attempted through ball, Lutma heads it straight down to Hatsumaratis. The danger is not yet averted. To the right side, Lucas Ooh. with a flying shot. And you heard the crowd's reaction as it kept rising over the bar and out for a goal kick in the end. And it's met by the halftime whistle here at this venue. Ball through the left side. And Alexander, the cut back. Mitrovic, plenty of time to pick his spot. And then... Late intervention from the Bulleen defence, just enough to put him off. Games played, and then Heidelberg 28 with two in hand. As Nardone comes up with the ball and plays it into the path of Groppo. He's trying to hustle past Jankovic, but he's been held up and he's pushed back to Templin, who fires a tumbling shot wide left. Scopoliti. And now Doherty. Shot from distance and wide left, but. It's a decent enough sign for Bulleen that they're, they're creating. The, the chances haven't been at the highest spot by winning their games in hand. As much as one of those games in hand is not for a very long time. And Bulleen would only improve their cause ever so slightly with a draw tonight in their battle against the drop. Blake Thompson. Raking crossfield pass. Exidius brings it down. Mika. Thompson. Happy to go backwards into open space for Yankovic. Bulleen inviting Bentley on. More patient build up from Bentley. Waiting for the killer ball. 
Belina just coiling up the spring, hoping for the chance to explode on the counter-attack. They've got to win the ball back first. Every single player in the defensive third now. Jankovic finds Mika. Top of the area. Lucas! Bentley picks their moment and take the lead. Chris Lucas sliding in for 2-1. And it was a great pass from Mika. And the Bentley Greens saw Bulleen sit back deep and just waited for the right time to strike. It's 2-1. I don't think Saul will be very happy with that. He lost, he lost Mika. He was able to play the ball Not through. That's what happens when you sit that far back. Here and, and again, you wonder, Jared, you've mentioned it in the first half, that they looked better when they were chasing the game. Templin brings down a long oh. ball. And it's then in. goes diving it's into in. Ryan Scott. And fouled him. And there's afters. Cushieri sends it high. It's keeper's ball initially. Bats it down. Follow-up header from oh. Groppo. Cleared off the line. And then turned behind for a corner. Ryan Scott lunging into the ball to scoop it out. Droppo. And then he has a fresh air swing at the ball that allows Jankovic to dispossess him. I think it's a bit of fatigue there from Groppo. Jankovic might fancy his chances. Rolls it out to Lucas instead. Lucas, left footed drive over the bar. And Groppo will be counting his blessings. Down the right end as far as they're concerned to break clear at the top of the league again. In it comes from the corner and across the face it goes. Kelly got a touch but not enough of it to put it in the back of the net. Alexander drives it cross field and a header from Mullins. Now Mika. Lucas. Dunking on the ball back and forth. Hicks. Blake Thompson. Cool head. Sends it over to Kelly. Now Alexander plays it to Hatsa Muratis. Through the left, Alexander continued his run. Drags the ball back to Hatsa Muratis. Now Kelly. It's death by a thousand cuts for Bulleen at the moment. They just can't win the ball back. Exidius. Hicks. Down to the right side. Lucas. Instructions from Jack Webster. You can hear they're coming through the effects microphone. Pauline right. just can't get their foot on it. Well, they have owned possession for a solid two minutes here. Bentley, and it's taken us into the last of regulation. Mika. Back to Hicks. They can't win the ball, Bulleen. Just chasing shadows in the moment. It's a boa constrictor strangling the life out of the game. Well, this is good game management. This is how you, this is how you stop the, the, the losing team from getting the ball. Hicks. It's a long passing move. It's about 25, 30 passes by now. And they'll just go back. Why rush? Webster, Exidius. Lovely. Flicking it on, Lucas wide on the right. Back to Exidius. If it finishes in a goal, this would be a candidate for goal of the season. Hatsumaratis turns, shoots, what a goal. scores! The ultimate team move! And Bentley Green seal the three points with a finish of the highest class. That was absolutely brilliant. I reckon that was 35, 40 passes from Bentley there. And that's his second goal of the night for Hatsumaratis. Dimi Hatsumaratis in stoppage time makes it safe. Bentley Green's three, Bulleen Lions one. Alexander might have first gone half for is... Mitrovic, but t two goals does it. Anyway, there's the full time whistle. And relegation is staring Bulleen in the face at their halfway point of the season. They remain dead last on the table with five points and an absolute mountain to climb in the back half of the season.